Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you all are having a great day. It's very snowy where I am. We had about 12 inches get dumped on us. Alrighty, well I'd like to speak to you guys about a dream I had and this was back in around late November to early December. And in this dream, I was with my, my classmates because I currently go to film school and we were in our screenwriting class and for some, when I, at the time I had this dream, I'm not entire, I wasn't entirely sure why we were in the desert. We were somewhere in Arizona or Colorado. I don't understand why we were there, but because I live in Michigan where it's snowy and you know forests but for some reason we were out in the desert and all of a sudden these huge boulders started falling from the sky and my whole class and I we looked up and we were frightened we were scared and so we started running for our lives and some of my classmates I don't know who, who was that got hit but there were boulders were hitting some of my classmates and I I started running. I was running as fast as I could and I thought one was gonna hit me. But even like you know, I kept thinking it's gonna hit me, it's gonna hit me, but it the boulder never hit me, I never felt the impact, so I was curious about this, so I stopped and I turned around and the boulder had hit the ground and it was several feet behind me but you know I, tur I turned around and for some reason I felt saved like none of the boulders were gonna hit me or if they did they're just gonna pass through me like I was some type of spirit I was no longer you know a fleshly body so after that, I, I woke up from the dream, and I, because normally I don't get dreams. I'm not a dreamer, so it's very rare that I get a dream, and this dream was, I woke up and I was like, something's odd about this dream, something's not right. So then, in mid-January, when I found out that I'm a seer, there was this split second where I got this revelation from God, and he told me that those boulders in my dream were the hailstones because if you guys don't know this in revelations when the last trumpet the seventh trumpet is called that's when god god's elite are pulled from the earth and the rapture happens and there's going to be there will be lightning and thunder and there's going to be a huge earthquake and there's going to be a severe hailstone. So God was gave me this revelation that these boulders in my dream were those hailstones from the rapture. But after that, I was so confused as to why we were in a desert. So recently I've done some thinking on it and I've come to the conclusion that the reason we're, we were in a desert is because God wants me to tell you guys that when the seventh trumpet sounds and the rapture occurs, those that get left behind, there is nowhere you can run and hide. The earth is going to be like a desert. I mean, you can hide in shelters, basements, bunkers, you name it, but there is no escape from God's judgment and his wrath if you're not saved. Guys, I just, I, God has given me a gift of receiving these dreams from him and he wants me to share them with you because time's almost up. I, you know, I'm going to share another dream with you in another video that Jesus actually telepathically spoke to me and he told me time's almost up. He, he's, along with other Christians, he has been sending out urgent messages that he's coming. Our king is coming. If you aren't saved, if you don't know Jesus, you need to start waking up and you need to start seeking a relationship with him because he is always here.
here. He is always trying to help you and he's always at your side. He's trying to speak to you. Our Lord became, let me put it as simple as possible. Our God came down from heaven. He came down from his throne and he was born as a human, Jesus, and he died on the cross for us. He died on the cross so that his blood, his righteous blood may cover us may cover our sins so that when he looks at us we are also righteous and that we have the ability to stand before him in heaven there is no greater honor or sacrifice than that of which our god did he did this for us because he loves us he doesn't want anyone to perish he wants all of us to be in the kingdom of god and be with him he wants personal relationships with all of us he has seeked that out. He wants that. But people that don't believe in him, it's like you got, they're just throwing him out. They're stepping on that sacrifice that God gave for them. So if you aren't saved and you haven't found Jesus, please do because he wants you. He wants you. He has plans for all of us. Each individual, he's laid down tiles for them. And even if you're in the dark and you are struggling because I've been there. Oh man, I have been through emotional turmoils, but if you trust in God, if you let him lead your life and you keep your faith in him and you believe that he died for you, he is going to reward you for that. He is going to bring you contentment and he is going to give you your desires because he loves us. So please, if you haven't found him yet, Please do because there's going to be a time very soon that the gates of heaven are going to close. The gates of mercy are going to close and it's going to be too late for those that don't believe in God, that don't believe in Jesus. But to those, my brothers and sisters that are in Christ, that stay true and righteous to his word, we are going to be spared. We are his elite. But the most important thing is to stay true and righteous and honor him. I know that evil and temptations, they surround us every day. They surround me. But it's my job as a warrior for God and a seer and his daughter that it's my job to go around and try to recruit. And it's my job to stay as righteous as possible even when I'm faced with sin, because there's no greater honor than being righteous and graceful. And it is having him call me as a warrior. It is such an honor and it's such a privilege. It, I mean, it's stressful and it is definitely a responsibility, but it's amazing. You know, I love it. I love that he's come to me and asked me to do this for him. So from no matter what I'm faced, I'm going to stay true I'm going to stay true and faithful to him because he's asked me to. He loves me. He loves you. Seek God. Seek God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way. He is our salvation. Please seek him out. All right, everyone. Thank you for listening. I have more dreams to share with you guys. So please subscribe if you like this and leave a like if you liked it also. I apologize for my artwork. Um, I'm not the best, but you know, I am trying to share with you what I've seen in my head. So, all right, folks, um, have a great day and God bless you.